Hello everybody and welcome back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are touring another Great Lakes vessel. Instead of it being a cement carrier, we are now on an ore carrier. This ship is called the Buffalo and it is owned by the American Steamship Company. And we are joined here today by Commander. Do you have anything to say? Uh, hello guys, it is Silver Styline back with another video. And, um, yeah, we are just making a video. Yeah, like, get it ready. Get into it. Alrighty, let's get into it. Alrighty, our first thing that we are going to tour is the pilot house. It is a much bigger pilot house than the wind dock that we were on last time. It has bridge wings. Um, let's take a tour. Over here, you have your helm. Uh, you have your propeller pitch. Um, you have your generator control over here. You have your, um, telegraph over here. Um, bow thruster controls and whatnot, and we are currently spinning out of control, so I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, you should probably fix that. Yeah, I don't want us and, to crash. Um, well, we aren't gonna crash, it's just gonna be pretty... Alrighty. Yeah. Over here we have our whistle control, which we'll check out here in a minute. Back here, we have something that we will not be touching in a little bit. Um, we have more controls and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chart table. Alrighty, we're gonna be going down a deck now, down to the cabin deck. Actually, just kidding. Yeah, it looks we're gonna nice go up here. Yeah. We're gonna check out the top of the pilot house. Over here, you have your radars. I don't know why they don't work, and you have a bow. That works. All right, so at aft, we can just about see where the crew accommodations. Now let's go see the um. Alrighty, uh, uh, coming down today. here, you have your captain's stateroom. Very nice. You have a TV. Always the biggest um, one on board. We're going to go across the hall to the second mate's cabin. Take a look at it. It's just a little smaller than the captain's uh, cabin. Very nice, very nice. We'd like to be done with this. Mm -hmm. uh, over here is our first mate's cabin. It's going to be pretty much the same size as the second mate's cabin. We are now going Ooh. to head down, I think, one more deck. I don't know if there's an interior down there. Is there an interior? Have you looked? I'm gonna, uh, yeah, there is an interior. Alrighty, uh, so we're I'm gonna go down there. To we're gonna enter the folk so Right here, we have the deck boss and senior deck hands cabin. Uh, over here, we have the third mate's cabin. A little nicer. Uh, the showers, they're locked. We have a steward's cabin. This would be... Is it a steward's cabin? Yeah, this would be for... If this ship was a flagship, it would be used for any passengers and the stewards would stay on board. Over here is the windlass room. The anchors will be controlled here. Same with the windlass for docking the ship. We are now going to head aft and take a look at the deck. Actually, just kidding. We have an officer's lounge right here, which is pretty neat. A um, yeah. bunch of other um, rooms and whatnot. Mm. Coming back here, uh, you can see that it is a self-unloading freighter. So it is not a straight decker like the wind dock that we just checked out. Over here, you have your um, arms that will swing out onto the sulaks when you're going to drop a crew member off to tie the ship down. Uh, these are rolling back bulkheads. Um, so either they would have had steam winches on the side of them, or they would have been controlled by the diesel electric engine. We're going to head back on aft of the ship. Coming over here, you can see some steam winches that would be controlled by the steam engines on board and a six-person life raft. Coming over here, we're going to start to head inside. We can see the crew lounge. This would be where all crews could sit at the end of their shift. If they had a four to eight watch or a different watch, just depending on your rank on board the ship. We are going to head back from the crew lounge. Over here, you can see a storage tank, which is locked. Uh, engine of over... This is where you can look over the engines. Over here is crew dining. Uh, you can see the galley back here. Um, over here is guest and officer dining room. Much nicer. And we're going to head out to the stern of the ship. Now this is where we can see the emergency steering and then the anchor controls right here. We're going to head up one to go see the emergency steering and the lifeboats. Excuse me. Here's the emergency steering, and here is our flagpole. 
coming up over here are our lifeboats, but we won't need them. Alrighty, we're gonna take a look at the owner's stateroom. It's one of the biggest staterooms on board, and it would have been used for the owner of American Steamship Company, because at the time the Buffalo was built, it was the largest Great Lakes vessel on board. What was that? Anyway, so the owner would stay on board. Now we're gonna head down um, to the engine room and take a look what that looks like. So we're gonna enter from the crew and, or excuse me, the officers and guest dining room hall. And then we are gonna head down a flight of stairs, if I can find that. Nope, not over here. Um, I think it's back here. Yep, right here's the engine room. Keep in mind, um, these ships that were built in the 1900s and early 1920s would all have triple expansion engines on them. Pretty much all of them leading up to the 60s would actually have them on board until dieselization would come. Here's the triple expansion engine, engine order telegraph, and this is where you would start your boilers. This is your circuit breaker, and here's your steering gear. That is it for the tour right now. We are going to turn on all of the deck lights real quick, and we are going to see what this thing looks like at night. So, Commander, give me one second, and let's see if I can find the controls to turn the deck lights on. Mass lights, alrighty. We're going to turn on all of the lights. Uh, and let's take a quick view of what the ship looks like at night. Pretty neat. So the ship has two whistles on board. It has a foghorn, which sounds like this. And then our steam whistle. And another good thing about this ship is it is compatible for a single person. You can use it for multiplayer, but it is, is actually automatically controlled from the telegraph, which means that there does not need to be a second person down in the engine room. Alrighty. Now we're going to rate it, and then we're going to test the sinking and rate it afterwards. For right now, the interiors, I'm going to give it about an 8 out of 10. The only reason why I'm giving it that is the stern inside needs a little bit more detail. Um, and that's pretty much it. For functionality of the ship, it's really nice. The whistles sound great on board, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. And just overall exterior looks, it's going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. What do, you, what do we think, Commander? I think I'll give it a... Um, yeah, I'll give it a... For um, interior, I'll give it about an 8 out of 10. It's worth watching, worth looking at, it, worth looking at. It. I was doing a little bit of a silent tour because you were mid speaking. That was fun. And I think the rafts had a nice detail. I don't know if we're going to be using them. But yeah, I'd give, I'd give the outside around a 9 out of 10 because it just looks like the classic liner. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's test up it versus waves. Let me get that. Alrighty, right. and then we will push the forbidden button here in a little bit. We're just going to take a look at it. I should probably actually turn that down. There yeah, I just turn it down a little bit. Oh, Holy cow. So this is like a huge gale that you would see on Lake Superior. Oh, uh, right. I this now, but we don't have any more lifeboats. Why, why don't we have any more lifeboats? Were they washed overboard, Commander? Yeah. Why Why didn't you? Great job. Alrighty. Um, let's see okay, here. So crane. One crane, pretty nice. Oh, and a huge wave just washed over the deck. That is. Dun, dun, dun. What's that? That's a good question. What is that? Why, why is it making that noise? What, what, why is it doing that? Uh, Commander. Yeah, did you press the button already? Mm, maybe. Hey, we gotta maybe. test the sinking of this. How yeah, are things maybe. looking back there? Well, I mean, I almost got swept over multiple times, but... Commander, the uh, stern, the stern's getting deeper and deeper. It is... Yeah, you're right, it is getting deeper and deeper. Is it that fast of a sinking? Holy cow. Oh, that was a big wave. Are you seeing yeah. this right now? 
Yeah, I am seeing it. The stern keeps getting washed over. Bro! I think I'm gonna unleash the raft on the stern. Because about now, rafts would be used because, as you know, DLG, Merrill, Carl, D. Bradley, Cedarville, rafts are really the only thing you can use in this type of water. Let's see, let's see how fast the wind speed's going right now in the pilot house. That's a good question. If, it, if I can pick it up. Um, right. right now I'm getting... Uh, is that, is that wind? Maybe? Uh, let's see. Um, Flood hold. Oh, I don't know what that is. Right, there. right here's the wind speed. See the thing right here? Where are you at? Oh. Right here. 25 yeah, mile an hour winds. Because the Great Lakes measure in mile an hour, not knots. Man, this, uh, she this ship is not looking good. I almost called it a sheep. But we're on a ship, not a sheep. Let's see how this thing's looking from a third-person yeah, point of view. Oh, that's a cool view. Just watching the, dip, the bow, the stern just dip over a little bit. Is it? It might actually plunge. Not quite. Now, unlike the um, stone port, this one sank. Doesn't split in half. I would like if it split in half. If we got yeah, it. I think it'd be a cool sinking if it split in half. Yeah, because like as detailed as it is, like the stone port is not that detailed. Alrighty, just for safety features, just to let you know, there is a raft on the front of the ship. Yeah, so yeah. if worse comes to worse, and I just got washed off. Okay, so we're gonna fly back into the pilot house so I don't die. Oh, that's why is the locker room flooded. Oh, is it flooding? I don't know why it's flooding out of all things. Alrighty, I'm back in the pilot house. I would suggest not going on deck. By now, if this was an actual sinking, the crew would not be actually on the deck. They'd be taking the tunnels alongside the ship. Yeah, that's where, that's where I'm going currently, is through the tunnel. Yeah, this ship is getting lower and lower into the water. Holy cow. Oh, that looks actually terrifying. Is there any water that you can see coming in? I'm, I'm going to the stern right now. There's some water in the bow, but not much. I'm going to the stern and I'll let you know. Right. Yeah, there's water getting in these bulkheads. Uh, Did you say there was there another sink some... button on board? There, I, I don't think there was. Oh, never mind then. It, it looks pretty dry, I think. I think. These are some gnarly shots that we're seeing right here. That's a bunch of meteors. Do you see that? Oh, what'd that you, wave just. What were you, what'd you say? Do you see the giant meteors? Yeah, why are there meteors? Um. So, so you. Um. I think it. I don't know. I did, sometimes they just randomly spawn. So well, ignore the meteors. Imagine that wasn't there. Yeah, just ignore them. All right, I'm. Oh, there, it, is it sinking fast? Cause it, uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get hit by a, a um, tsunami in a second. So just. Oh, we are gonna hit by get, get hit by a tsunami. Yeah, because uh, meteors normally cause a tsunami. Oh. I oh, I, I, I'm on the second deck from the pilot house. And it is sinking actively. Yeah, it's not looking good. The ship's just riding lower and lower in the water. Did I release the raft? Oh, uh, we have water coming into the uh, cabin deck. The f the last cabin deck. Yeah. We have water. Oh coming gosh. At this point, I. Should I release the um, thing? Leave it. Let's see if we'll need it. We may or may not, depending on how fast the ship goes. All right, I'm the crew already went off in the lifeboats, apparently, and the raft. No, that raft, that raft is still back there. It hasn't gotten carried away. Yeah, I'm surprised. Oh, my lord. You're not going to like this, but the entire... The... Uh, Showers. How do I how do I get the ramp? I need to get to that that access point. 
Oh, I just, oh, I just got trapped. Wait, hold on a second, I'm going across the, oh, you're not, not gonna like this. What? Um, the tunnel access is blocked. By what? Water. We're not getting to the tunnel. Okay, so... We are slowly beginning to plunge. Yes, we are. I'm gonna re uh, by this point. Probably. The ships look. The ship looks like it's building a right list a little bit, does it not? Yeah, it, it's a little bit of a right list. I'm not sure if that's just because of all the water influx. I'm actually gonna check and see if that tunnel is. Oh tunnels. my goodness! Remember how when it was like barely flooding, how high it was just getting on the water. It's just getting deeper and deeper into the water. Okay, I'm in the tunnel, I just no clipped in the tunnel, and there is a little bit of water from the front. There is no Oh water. my, okay. I think, we st I think we're gonna have to stop the ship. Now, in all reality, I'm sure they'd try to head for, like, Whitefish Point or some other place, depending on where they could get shelter. The ship is being stopped as we think. Yes, they would try to head for their nearest shelter depending on the severity of the storm. But as you can see, the storm is just getting worse, worse, and worse. So at this point, we just gotta we gotta start evacuating everything. Yeah. And that means we get to turn the alarm on. Just kidding. It's so loud. No, I'm. I would turn it on. Yeah, we are. The raft is. Okay. I, uh, so, yeah. should we okay. board the raft? Uh, do you think it's wise? I mean, all the crew is evacuated, so isn't that like the... Um, I'm currently in the officer's dining hall, just hold on. Well, I'm, on the, I'm at the pilot house, so I think I'm going to start heading down to the raft. I'm going to go sit on it. Yeah, just sit on it. Do you see me? Uh, no, I do not. I'm, I'm right. Oh. Alrighty, I've just gotten on the raft. Alright, you've just gotten on the raft. I'm uh oh. Okay, we're good. I almost, I actually almost released it. Uh, you might want to hurry up. The ship's starting to list a little bit to the. Actually, no, we're good. But I'd hurry up. The ship's not looking good. It's actually starting to plunge a little bit. Man. Yeah. If I'm not there by the time it goes under. Just leave. Where are you at? Are you trying to take the tunnels? Oh, you can't even take the tunnels. They're all flooded. Yeah, I'm... What? I, I'm trying to get something. Uh-oh. Uh oh my goodness. Whoa! I'm... I'm... I'm kind of like trapped on the stern almost. Are you really? I'm gonna... I mean, the bow is... I'm going to get washed off if I go towards the bow, probably. Yeah, we need to we need to launch some of these flares. Yeah, I'm just launching the flare. Going in. Oh, that that looks that that's gonna be a cinematic shot if you've ever seen one. Whoa! Uh oh! Is it going? What? Oh, I what? thought it was going for a second. Um. No. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Well. Oh. Nope. Oh gosh. I just got, uh, oh, and... You coming? Yeah, I'm right here, just hold on a second. Man, this is a crazy shot that I'm seeing right now, just with the waves. Yeah, it's just a crazy... Do you see me? I'm just up here. Oh, we've just been pushed over by a tsunami. That's that's probably. The and time I think it. now is the time to release the raft. Yeah, probably the time to re just release it at this point. I'm captain, so I kind of like, have an obligation to stay with it until at least the end. Holy cow! Close. And air. Yeah, this ship I is definitely starting to go down. I don't know how it's gonna go down. I don't know if it's gonna list, like roll I over. Even because like it, it's a, a stern sinking, but like you left all the doors open, like while doing this. Oh yeah, I probably should have closed those. 
Oh well. We learn from our mistakes. Yeah, I... Let's see, is there any way I can get the bridge here? Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, that... Oh. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh, are you seeing what's going on with this life raft? Le legit, you just went over the pilot house. Well, now I'm on and the bow. I'm, I'm back on the bow yeah. now. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can actually enter the, um... The raft? Thing. And then, um, yeah. I'm gonna... Oh, this does not look good. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, I just need to do one day. It is actually... Oh, okay, so the thing right here is just swing down. Oh, this is not good. So it is. Yeah, it's not looking good down there. I mean, it's flooding, but not... Let's check the other side, actually. Oh. Um... Yeah. How's the steam looking back there? It looks like, kind of looks like it's dying out a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely dying out slowly. I can definitely feel the end is near for the buffalo. Yep. Yeah, the buffalo is currently at its final moments. Definitely. And I am still currently stuck on the bow on the raft. Still stuck on the bow? Yep. Really? Oh, what's, oh, oh, I don't, oh, that's, that's the side door. It's fine, it's fine. There's, there's no stopping it. Um. Oh my goodness. Oh my. There is no real way of saying this, but. Looks like the thing. ship is going to sink. At this point, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a certainty that it's going to sink. It's probably a good idea that we stop the ship. It's oh, that looks even worse. Yeah, it was probably a good idea that I stopped the ship because we just would have gotten we would have sunk instantly if we just would have kept riding the ship. Yeah, it would have pulled like a Lusitania and drove itself into the ocean. Yes. Indeed it would have. Um Well, I mean I just did a full check on the stern. It well, I think we're at the final moments of the buffalo. Definitely. And... Are you gonna come up to the raft? Oh, yeah. I'm coming. Just come on a second. And as we... Uh-oh. The raft is about to fall over the side. That's fine. Oh, I can just swim up. And I'm officially in the water. Alright. Um. It's definitely misting over. Yeah. It Man, might... this is a crazy sight to see. Yeah, it probably looks great for you. But I'm, I'm kind of like flying around, so it's making the camera look shaky. Yeah. Well, oh, that is a beautiful view. I'm currently just in the pilot house. I think this is one of the longest sinkings we've ever done. Yeah, probably. It's definitely slowly beginning to sing. I'll probably edit down some of the video to where it's like the final plunge. Like, just me checking the ship out and then it cuts to the final plunge. Oh, it's rolling. Oh, shoot. My goodness, every time I think it's going to roll over, it just... It just keeps going. This is a mighty ship, though. Oh! Yeah, I mean... Oh, my goodness, it looked like it was going to completely roll over there for a second, did it not? Yeah, I guess this is like the free surface effect in a really good way. Oh! Oh, that's... Yeah. Like, the free surface effect, because it's... Like, the damage is in the stern, but it's sinking towards the bow. Alright, I 
don't know what, really what to do. I guess I can, like, release a few more players. I am currently flying in the air in the raft, but it's okay. Uh, you're, you're on the raft? I'm still in the pilot house area. You can probably still see me. I'm gonna <laughs> grab a flare will... just in case. In case I can signal rescue. Yeah, they might drive over you though, so that might be an issue. Man, oh man. Yeah, whatever type of sinking this is, I, I can just push myself off. Oh! 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 oh. Are we at its final? Are we literally at its final minutes? Yeah, we probably are. Um, should I should I stay in the pilot house since I'm captain? I mean, our all crew are off, so I mean you can. Yeah, technically I can abandon ship. And the other life raft is off the ship right now. It's towards the stern. Yeah, I see it. Oh. Oh. I think oh. we are actually here at the final moments of the SS Buffalo. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful sink. But yes, I guess, alas, it is probably time to stay with the ship. The fact that it has been have I seriously not been recording the entire time? Ain't no way. Bro. Have, you, have you not been recording? Have That's you? hilarious. I have been. Alright, well. Uh, just since I'm not recording, I, I'm, I'm just gonna jump off. I'm gonna jump into your raft. Just hold on a second. Oh, the ship's down. The ship's down. Yeah, it is down. I'm trying to get Maybe. Out. Now it's now it's back. Now it's back. Just kidding, it's back now. Alright, well, since I forgot to record and I don't feel like pressing record at the final plunge. Yeah, this ship looks yeah, it's gonna Yeah. It's definitely yeah. gonna roll over here. So should we end it? Maybe we should put it back, put it back in daylight, and let's see how it looks right now. Yeah, like, how it looks without all the... Yeah. Man, oh man. Well. Well. That we... is the SS Buffalo, my friends. Thank you for watching. This is a really great model. I will link the SS Thanks Buffalo for, in the description of the video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I hope you have a wonderful and fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.